I'm Herald Sun sports writer John McCann. This is game day, and I'm at the site of what on Friday might very well be called the Super Big 8 Bowl. Joining me now is Orange coach Pat Moser. Coach Moser, welcome to game day, sir. Thank you. Coach, Thank you. you moseyed out here like there's not much on the line this week. Uh, am I going too far if I'm saying that this is like the Super Bowl? I mean, this is the Super Big Eight Bowl. It absolutely is. I mean, we're we're both undefeated, ten and zero teams. Now it's it's been a hard road to get here to mm -hmm. that. There's other some other great teams in our conference, but we're we're here. We're both ten and zero. So you know, it, this is for the championship. It's it's very big. So. For us in mm -hmm. this area, it's Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, I, I don't feel that tension out here. You're not uptight. Your players look loose out here. Is this kind of the demeanor of one game at a time? This is a big game, but still, it's just the next game. It might just be nervousness. I don't mm -hmm. know. You know how mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. <laughs> you just. I mean, this it's it's a big game. Our kids know it, and and uh, it's it's maybe our approach to practice. You know, uh, right now, but. Uh, I think the closer we get to Friday, the tighter everybody will mm -hmm, get, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, how do we know it was going to come down to this? Orange and Southern. You know, at the beginning of the year, there's a talk of, well, there are other teams in the Big 8 who could contend. But but we kind of knew. Coach, didn't you kind of know that it was going to be between you two guys? I, well, I thought there was a chance of that happening. But, again, uh, the Big 8 Commerce is the best 3A Commerce in the state. And there are... Uh, top to bottom, good teams in our commerce, and at the at the top, when when you have uh, Northwood and Chapel Hill, Cardinal Gibbons, mm -hmm. you know that we, we all. I'm, when I say we all, I mean Orange and Southern Durham. We had to play uh, really good football to get by those teams. Mm -hmm. So for us to be ten and zero, uh, you know we're, we're fortunate. Um, Southern Durham uh, probably played a little bit better than we did across the course of the season as far as margin of victory, but but uh, still, very tough game all the way. Well, you know, Coach, the talk of the town, you know, back in Durham, uh, and, and maybe statewide, is that Southern is again the team to beat. They won the 3A, 3AA state title last year, they should win it again. But Coach, I know you don't tell these guys that y'all are getting ready to host the best team of the state sure. in well, the state. Sure we do. You, you, tell, oh, yeah. you tell your Absolutely. guys that this is the best team. Absolutely. We tell them they're number one, and they're number one for a reason, mm -hmm. and, and that gives us great motivation. You know, our kids, I mean, they they back down from nobody, and, right. and, and they're looking forward to it, believe me, more than any game this year. Mm -hmm. They can't wait for Friday night. Okay. And, and the reason being, they know they're ranked number one, and they're number one for a reason. And, and uh, if, if you look at the other polls, we're ranked number five. So – uh, what does that really mean? We don't know. You know, it comes down to Friday night and who plays the, the best on Friday night. You know, you, you add a fumble or a couple of interceptions here and there, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. You have to play well. Southern's going to have to play well to beat us. We're going to have to play well to beat them. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. All right, and we'll settle it on Friday night. All right, I'm here now with Orange quarterback Garrett Cloer and Orange fullback Michael Bolden. Guys, welcome to game day. Thank you, sir. Kind of a small little football game coming up on Friday, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Nah, it, it's a big game. And, and Garrett, you have said that this game is one that you've been looking forward to all season. Yes, sir. Talk to me about that. Yeah. Ever since they beat us last year the first time, I was, I was looking forward to the next shot we'd have at them. Then they beat us the second time. And now I'm really looking forward to that next one. So uh, we've been waiting for this game since they beat us last year in the third round of the playoffs. We've been uh, preparing for it. They've been our motivation in the off season, and they've uh, continued to be our motivation during the season. Just looking forward to that game against Southern. So we're really well, excited for well, it. Well, what gives, man, talking to your coach a few minutes ago, um, he says Southern is the best team in the state. And I said, Coach, I know you don't tell your guys that. Does, does he tell y'all that y'all are getting ready to play the best team? Because I thought, I, I would think he would say, this is the best team in the state, the guys that wear orange. Yes, sir. Well, uh, we know that they're, they're reigning state champs. So as of right now, they're, they're the best team in the state. Right. But we feel that we can beat them. All right. And All that's right. how we're going to approach it. We're going to approach it as, our, as, a, as a state championship game, pretty much. So, you know, I hate to be so bold as to ask you guys for a prediction here, but on your home field Friday, what is going to be the outcome Saturday morning? Orange High School doesn't lose at home, so uh, 
Never. We're going to keep that tradition up. Michael? Keep it up. All right. Never lost. All right. Both of y'all seniors, your last time around. Yes, sir. All right. Sir. Okay. Go Panthers. All right. Oh, yeah.